Damn YouTube. Welcome to Portal Story Mountain now. Many of you have seen my Portal Let's Play. And over the last week, the last few days, I've uh, completed Portal, finished Portal 1 and 2 again. Because I got this, I saw this from Steam the other day, and it looks like a free mod. And I thought it looked pretty cool, but it's advised that you play for the first and the second Portal so you know what you're doing, didn't spoil anything. I'm playing this black pretty much. I know it says load game, but I loaded it and then decided to play for the first game and the second game, and now I'm deciding to do the last play now. You can tell my voice is a bit croaky, i um, got some kind of infection or something like that. I'm fine. Now, I don't know why it lets me do all the other chambers, the other chapters straight away, which is kind of cool, but oh, it's a bit croaky. I'm hoping it doesn't go while I'm playing this, but let's start. Chapter 1. Now, as I said, I'm doing this completely blind. I've not played any of this yet. I've not seen any videos, I just saw advertising Steam the other day. But from what I know, it's support is a fan made uh, Portal 2 mod, standalone mod, and it's a prequel to both Portal 2 and Portal 1, as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong about that though, that's as far as I know. There we go, it kind of flagged a bit then. Come okay, on, stop lagging. It always does this in Paul Gibb for some reason. It's always in the loading screen as well, it's never on anything else. Hmm. I do like that T loading screen design. Here we go. Portal Stories Mel. Now I don't know if Mel's us. Mel's the name of a pro of another Gladys kind of thing or not. Oh no! Give me a second. Thanks, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson, and oh boy, do I just... Sorry about that, I just need to quickly stop the uh, control. Ah, there we go. wonder why I couldn't use my control then, but folks... Something to show you. Cave Johnson. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military, but I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing, lots of doing, which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, where are we again? Now, after playing Portal 2 all the way through for the first time in the day, I'm a bit disappointed. I mean, I know it's a fun game, so I can't exactly play, but the guy who voiced Cave Johnson in Portal 2 um, was actually, I don't know if many of you know, but he was actually the same person who played uh, J. Jonah Jameson in the original Spider Man trilogy, which I found pretty awesome, and just his attitude pretty awesome, so I'm a bit, a bit uh, you know, a bit right. disappointed in that. Good um, impression of really.
Come on, listen to me. Back to your things. Because you're fired. Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. Yep, like I said, this is supposed to be a prequel to Portal and Portal 2, and this is, if you've played through Portal 2, you know, like, when you get to the bottom area, this is, like, when what the labs were like then, as far as I know, so when there was still, like, like not blocked off, was still active, so, yeah. As I said, uh, Kate, the I can't remember his, the, vo the voice actor's name or the guy's name, but he played he played J. Jordan Jameson in the Spider-Man trilogy, and he's got the same kind of attitude as him, and it's, I find it pretty cool. Now I wonder if we'll be seeing the birth of Gladys in this. Mind you, he's just I don't know ever. He's a decent uh, Kate Johnson person, I must admit. Now, if you haven't played for Portal 2, I'd recommend before you do so before watching the Marcus. I'm going to be mentioning kind of a lot of spoilers to the games, and there's probably going to be a lot of spoilers in the actual in this game as well from Portal 1 and 2. So if you haven't played them, if you don't want to be spoiled, leave this video now. Superconductor tests, superpowers, super. Super, did I say super tumors? Now that was a bit of a reference. Science Spheres. Now they was in the second the uh, second game. Repulsion Gel that was there too. Tastes like science. You're not supposed to eat it. Science Spheres Repulsion Gel. I must put this is pretty well designed for a community. Uh, made, get made their yeah, bodies. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out. And as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray exploration. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, sorry, we got three minutes. Now what's interesting is the turret test labs have been, have been uh, screwed out. I wonder why. High security clearance has been taken off. These are test subjects from what I can gather. But which of us is, which is ours? I'll put you cut. Now that's Kind of reminds me of Fallout, you know, the uh, Nuka Call. Can I? I have no money. Um, can I get it? Oh! That's new. That's actually pretty cool. Nice little feature. service. Can we go in there? No. Hmm. Yep, no, okay. That. I, that's a new feature. I remember in Portal 2 they didn't have a noise that you can do anything in this station. Do we have to... Ah, another schedule button. So it's 1952. That is... Two zero five six. You do. Okay, it's ignoring. And I'm at my can oh, oh, I can't jump over them. Alright, up we go. Now the way this, I'm going to try recording this, I'm going to record this in big chunks and then just chop them down 20 minutes each. Self-conductor test, we've seen that one. Potion gel. 
put your signs in the base. I might use something like this logo actually in the thumbnail, I think. Hmm. Wow. We're amateur science innovators, we love oh, to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of aperture science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. I'm not sure if that's like a clever reference to another cover into Portal 2 because the way you get to the old labs in Portal 2 is Wheatley gets annoyed at Gladys or Potatoes at the time and knocks you down when you fall down in the salt lines. Now I've got 47, that was so it's not far off when we're not actually was built. So this has been here a few years. You've even got a hotel here. You can also see the area outside as well, that's pretty cool. I think they've used some half flash to it. Can I get in here? No. Mm. You got like houses and stuff. Stop. No, I won't. Green house. I'm just checking. I know people are probably going to be annoying and say, "Come on, come on, come on." I want to. I want to really look around and explore. Cause I'm getting that. I wonder. No, it can't because everything was. Everything, all this is underneath everything, but. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe. I'm wondering if that's the same hatch you get chucked out of in Portal 2 at the end of it. Possibly. Little playground. Wow, has it even got a playground? Flats. Moon. Now as this is a prequel, of course, Wheatley's not like, you know, I'm not gonna be, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it because I know people are probably watching it anyway. You know, is that, oh no, it's not a fall. People are probably going to watch it anyway and, and then get annoyed at me for putting spoilers, but I did, I'm going to, well, I didn't have warned you, but, hmm, Again, I know people are probably going to get annoyed at me. I just want to examine everything. I always like, you know, Easter eggs sometimes, like in, in parts. Okay, um, everything, yeah, I think we've got there. Have a look. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. Yeah. Just head through the door on the right, to right. The elevator. You all know where to go. Two or four, man. I can read it. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to read this upside down. It looks weird, though. What's this supposed to be? I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I should not spoil here of the Olympians. Pulse from jail. What is that a Hitler? It kind of looks like Hitler for some reason. I don't think it is. It's the hairstyle, I think, isn't it? Fifty shares of <laughs> good God. Now this is Cave Johnson. I thought that looks like a sweater. That looks like a cross between like like Hitler and um, Theodore Roosevelt. It's weird. I don't want to go just yet. One twenty three. Okay, one twenty three. Four twenty six.
Ah. Uh, now then. This is the, the part you people have played for this part two. This is a big Easter egg. Now I'm really not going to say much about this, even though I've mentioned it. I'm going to it's going to be spoilers, but that is a big Easter egg. No, you're allergic to pollen, animal chain, animal, animal dander. What the hell's animal dander? Plastic. Okay, I don't know anybody who's allergic to plastics. And okay, that's weird. I need a typewriter. No. Oh, that I like that. I'm 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 hot like that. Put that in there. Welcome to Susie. Please sign in with the receptionist. But Carolyn's not there. Then. Coffee or what? Again, this actually shows how far behind because in Portal 2 you go down and you see a lot more trophies than this. You see this one and a lot of others. Another reference to Half Life Top 102. Now, you see Aperture is number 2 because I believe Black Mesa is number 1. Best science company, best new science company, best new I don't want to miss anything, I'm, I'm sure they're going to like Easter eggs and things. Propulsion gel. I'm stuck. I want to get a nervous walk on it. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. If the test subject's a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair friend of the Sioux, my former boys, Jig and Alamey, built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, no, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. <laughs> when Mike gives you lemons, don't, don't make them there. You fall as lemons back in life. I can never remember that quote. I've only just played that big day and I can't remember that quote. What folly still more. Can I press this? I'm trying to recognise some of the things that might have been in Portal. You know, some of the areas that might have been Portal. I believe this might have been one. Alright, let's go. What's this? Can I go down there now? I thought I could get down there a minute ago. I'm sure I could get down there. Mm, probably not. Oh no. I believe in there is the switch for the gels. You are here. Before I start to give out, I'm probably, probably going to start recording now.
Eh? Here and after, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine and all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep going above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss my back. The bean counters cry like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Oh, that's... I think that's the um, suspended animation thing that we did. <laughs> 